Minecraft is full of blocks, biomes, and structures to explore. But load up a super flat world and everything changes. Simple things like getting wood, ores, and resources are much, much harder. But I'm going to survive and thrive for 100 hardcore days. For day one, I'm starting in 1.8.9. And that's because in 1.9, one particular mob was removed from super flats. The rabbits! So with those being right there, I'm going to head into this village. Say hello to my good old buddy Fred. I love the blacksmith, it's actually quite good. Then I need carrots that I will use to lure rabbits. Then I can dig a hole and trap them all in. Yeah, you guys don't exactly look like rabbits, but I'll, I'll allow it. Next, I'm going to upgrade the world to 1.17.1. The rabbits are still there, just a, a little bit smaller than they were before. And I must grab some wood. Wood that I can use to make a pickaxe, to get stone, to make stone tools. Then I can fight back against these stupid slimes. Now armed with better tools, I need to stop these guys from despawning. To do that, I'm, I'm going to steal loads of wood from this, this poor villager's house. It's for the greater good, I'm, I'm sure he won't mind. From there, I'm going to craft boats. Lots of boats and... Yo, I can't, I'm sorry I destroyed you. I should have to get in there, though. From there, I can lure the rabbits through, get rid of the imposters. Now I have a supply of rabbits that otherwise would have been impossible for me to obtain. And okay, if you want to live in a boat for the rest of your life, I, I guess it can be arranged. Now I need a bed, and, and this village sadly doesn't have one. But thankfully, it does have wool. And you're probably wondering why I specifically went to version 1.17. Also, you're kidding me? There's only two pieces of wool. Thankfully, there is an infinite number of sheep. And don't be deceived by these rabbits. They're, they're from 1.8.9 still. Anyway, now I have my bed. And I can get to sleep. Oh, no, I can't get to sleep. Now I can get to sleep. I'm from far, far away, so all those mobs in the village despawn. And ask these villagers where on earth you guys are going. Now, why are we in version 1.17? Well, it allows me to get another mob that would normally be impossible, the Axolotl. Obtaining that will require iron, which will require another village. Before I leave here, I'd like to make sure I have grabbed plenty of wood. I should set up an iron farm to dis in the spawn chunks, but I'll, I'll just come back to do that later. There is a village over there, and whilst there is a 1.8 one, it has not one blacksmith with iron, oh, very nice, but two blacksmiths, and I don't think it actually is an old one. I think, oh, diamonds, nice. I don't know what I'm talking about. It is definitely an old one, but hey, it has more, but oh, there goes my axe. As I was saying, it has more books, and with three iron, I can make a bucket, which is actually all I need to get axolotls. Well, that and a bunch of stone as well. To do this, I'm going to head back to the original village, go to sleep because I, I don't want to repeat of last night, and from there, smelt a bunch of cobblestone. Next, I need to dig a hole. It needs to be a fairly large hole, a large hole without villagers in. Come on, get out. Or slimes. Whoa, no, 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 sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of there, SP. That was a close shave. Smacked a villager in the face with a shovel in the process. But thank goodness, I am still alive. After that near miss, I'm going to take the stone and place it as the floor. Being careful not to die to any slimes in the process. Now to fill it with water, cover the top, and wait for the axolotls to start spawning. Unfortunately, none of them are spawning, so it's time to take this way more seriously and make this hole way, way bigger. And it is just about done. A lot of the villagers are in the way. Axolotls are already spawning. Oh, he's drowning. No, he, he's died. I did want to move, but they, they just wouldn't listen. Glow squids too. Now, if I bucket one of these up and put it back down, it will now not despawn. But I think for now, I'll just store them all in a little area there. I'm now moving far away so new ones can spawn. I'm only trying to get a pink one. Stupid glow squids are taking up all the mob cap. That was close. I realized that I was going to die. Whoa, don't die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? SP, just, just get out of there. I know it's that slime or something. A pink one has spawned. And yet in 1.17, glow squids and axolotls shared the same mob cap. But in newer versions, they don't anymore. I've successfully got two of each. So now I can upgrade to 1.19. And the axolotls are still here. The rabbits are still here. And because I created this world in a version that was 1.17 or earlier, now in 1.19, I have access to all these structures. So I'm going to take some furnaces, grab a, a little extra cobble, since I need a new axe, and then I'll begin the hunt for brand new structures. Plus, I, I want to grab a load more food, too. Because it's super flat, I can have my render distance so, so high. And it, it really doesn't affect my FPS. Meaning I can find structures from much much further away. I should also probably cook some of this food since I'm, <laughs> I'm a little low on health. I also think because in 1.8 I got so many animals that spawn, now none are spawning anywhere else. But I tell you what is spawning, a pillager outpost. I'm definitely not ready to do a raid at this point, but it is great to know where it is. And you know what else is great? 
Iron! Yes, I can now get iron from this iron golem. Don't take it personal, mate. I, I just have no other way to get this. Also, saplings are going to be handy because I, I, I don't have those in the other village. Since all villages did not generate with trees. I'm also going to ransack this village for every hay bale they've got. And whilst I do that, I am so, so close to 4 million subscribers. So please, if you're new and you could find it in your heart, go ahead and subscribe to help me get there. Another blacksmith as well, very nice. With more obsidian- Oh, hang on a minute, we're not far off being able to go to the nether. I was gonna leave these other boots behind. I don't think iron is gonna become a problem. And is them- Wait, hold on a second. Up here? Oh, there's loads of mobs! Alrighty, that's as close that. Quite literally, monsters in the attic. Final bit of run second is to grab this bell. And you know what? Oh, you've got a lectern, you've got books. Brilliant. Because now, <laughs> they're all mine. There's still a few more villages in the area. And the iron's gonna be useful. So whilst that is my priority, I just remembered I missed a building here. Yes, the leather worker's home, which I'm hoping has a saddle. Not this one. There is another one here, which might be better. Nope, just add bread. I left my other one at the village back at spawn. I'm just sick of running. And riding a horse would really speed things up. Also, look at the amount of them that are Spawning, this is very dangerous. There's alleys, there's iron golems, and there's probably also death, which is why... Oh my goodness, they're coming from everywhere. As I was saying, though, it's why I'm going to have to use my A-game. Man, there's a rails there as well. Wait, is this a... Whoa, where's everywhere? I was going to say, is it connected to some sort of mineshaft? I've no idea. Oh, there's one guy up here. But what is in the chest? Anything good? I, I, uh, no, not really. <laughs> Wouldn't say it was worth risking my life for, anyway. So it'd be cool to find some extra things there. I'm also taking a massive risk here, but... Oh, okay, don't mess this up, SP. Oh, that was close. All of this just for a bit of iron. Oh, well, we're up to 11 now. And yes, I am surrounded by pillagers everywhere. I better not lead them over to that village. Oh my goodness. It's an army! Could make a pretty useful XP farm as well. Another blacksmith, more iron, and a saddle! That is absolutely fantastic. So now I... Well, as I say, I just need to find a horse. They're keeping horses here for me. Brilliant. We are best friends forever. And you're a pretty decent speed. But I do want to check if this one is faster. All right, it's hard to say. You know what? We're going to have to do some testing. The time trial is to get to that village and back. Bit of a waste of time, but hey, this is all in the name of science. That's far enough. Now a quick U-turn. And it's 1 minute 16 to beat. All right, time for take two. I think this one is definitely slower, by the way. 1 minute 37. Way too slow, but I'm, I'm just going to get rid of this golem for even more iron. Then I'll steal even more hay. Ride away the superior horse. And go back to this village since there's a ruin portal next to it. Also going to take this opportunity to upgrade my pickaxe to get a block of gold. And oh my goodness, we got a notch apple. Plus fit and steel. I mean, the shovel's kind of pointless. The gold helmet's good, but the notch apple, well, that one is insane. I think I'm ready to head home. That is if I can find it. I think it's somewhere in this direction, but not 100% sure. There it is. Home sweet home. Time to plant some brand new trees, which means I will have to destroy every single house in this village. I've got a wandering trader too, which are normally annoying, but these are very useful. You wait there, good sir. I just have to get some emeralds. Or I could just worry about it some other time and instead get him for his leads. And now, with all this obsidian, I think it's time I build a portal and begin the next phase of the adventure. As you can see, Superflats worlds just have normal nethers with stupid annoying ghasts. Although if I keep moving, they're nothing that I can't handle. Finding a fortress is a priority, but a bastion wouldn't be a bad thing to find as well. Come on, mate. Give me a chest plate. Hand it. Okay, never mind. Tell you what, sometimes traversing these places can just be a pain. It's even more of a pain when you think... Oh, wait, I did it. I was about to say it's a pain when you think that you can vote MLG, but you can't. But hey, SB737 obviously can. Definitely against the odds, though, that's for sure. Also going to take the opportunity to get a bucket of lava. As some extra pork chops will come in very, very handy. Rule number one. Never attempt to bridge across lava with a ghast looking straight at you. Although, it doesn't seem to do any harm, so we'll, we'll carry on. <laughs> Look at that. Hot tourist destinations already. You know you've been searching for too long when you unlock that advancement. Finally, I have found one. Now, I, I should probably take some precautions. Oh my goodness. Yeah, precautions will be useful, such as a shield. And I'll get in, get the blaze rods, and get out. And whilst I'm here, I might as well check some of the chests. You just never know. There could be a few useful items. Like a chest plate, which, which apparently I haven't got. And on that note, I should probably get out of here as i have one heart left i have i have no food and there's no whoa that was very very close to death and i just can't stop searching i think i might have been here hang on a minute i also have hay bales which means i can make some bread and i can avoid dying i'm actually finding it quite useful to well, i was gonna say that i was saying it's quite useful collecting coal from those guys because i have no other way to get it then my axe breaks and i have to use brush sign to make a new one but as i was saying these guys are a great source of coal and i'm happy with what i've got so i'll head back this way to the warped forest this is without a doubt the safest place to get me ender pearls endermen are pretty easy to find in a super fat world anyway but then you've got to deal with a million other mobs so this is just yeah much 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 safer and, and less stressful and i got my first enderpearl. Just 11 more to go. And that is 12 enderpearls. 
So I'm now ready to head back home. Here it is. Now to drop off the junk, give my horse some fancy new armor, and make it so the villagers have a way to escape. Then I can make my eyes and begin the search for the stronghold. Although in reality, it's not really a search because I, I just have to walk in a straight line and I'll definitely find it. Although before I leave, it may be wise to get rid of loads of these animals. So then I'll have food and I can grab flint to make arrows as well. Now the stronghold was precisely in this direction. And hopefully it shouldn't take too long to find. Looks like we have a village and a ruined portal on route. And I didn't take my horse with me because I, I didn't want to leave him at the stronghold instead. I, he's, he's safer at home. Even if it would have made the journey quite a bit faster. Iron nuggets, more obsidian, nice. Plus an extra two blocks of gold. I could visit all these villages and take out the golems, but you know, I, I've got more important things to do. Like finding the stronghold. And finding what, what whatever this hole is supposed to be. Kind of glad I'm leaving this dimension now that the rain started pouring. This is a cool area. Look at this. Outpost, villages, and best of all, portal room. I reckon there's just two very important things. In fact, I shouldn't be using wood. But yeah, there's two very important things I want to do before I go to the end. First one is to ransack this chest. And I also want to see if there's much paper in this stronghold there is. That's useful because there's no way for me to get sugarcane unless I get a wandering trader. So getting as much as I can from places like this is very important. It also kind of creates a cool parkour course, this. With more paper up for grabs at the end. I'd also like to jump right back down and not miss the MLG. Because I need gunpowder. Once I go to the end and get me elytra, gunpowder will be crucial. I reckon 20 will be enough. I've just had enough of this weather and want to get to sleep. And I can take out the few remaining creepers in peace. Look at that. Two ender pearls and a chest blade. Just what I need. Let's get this filled up and head on through. All right, Ender Dragon, you've no idea what I've been through to get here. Certainly not the typical format. Anyway, let's get rid of these towers. This is already going to be annoying. Why is that over the void? Guess it means I can't cheat it and just shoot through the gap. That was close. That was very, very close. I think that's the last of them. So in theory, I'm on the home straight. I can start dealing with the Ender Dragon. At least I could deal with it if my axe didn't break. It's very, very low and it's coming into perch, which should mean I can finish the job. I'll worry about the dragon egg a little bit later because my current priority is to find an end city. And suddenly spending all that time mining for dirt is now going to come in handy. And up ahead, there's end city number one. Doesn't look like it has elytra, but it's still better than nothing. I just hope I have enough blocks to bridge all the way across. Probably do. I've got three stacks in the bank. I'll just end up the last little bit. And would you look at that? We have got an end ship on that one. So I'll very quickly loot this. Getting shulker shells in the process, which will be very, very useful. And there's two chests at the top. One with iron and one with diamonds. I'm going to try an MLG on the edge of that stairs, because I think it's the only place I can do one. A little bit trickier than an average one, but I did it. And I can upgrade my gear. Plus start chucking stuff into a shulker box. And now... I know exactly where I'm going. Going to not die when I jump off here for starters. And then I'm going to make the long bridge to get where I need to be. Oh, look at that. There's another one there too. This Now it's all coming to, to place. Just need one more pearl because otherwise I can't get across. There we go. And I've got another one mad at me. Okay, this is bad because I'm only on two hearts. But you just place some water, regen your health, and trap them in a boat. You can also regen faster if you eat chorus fruit. Due to the fact that you can eat it and gain saturation even when you're not technically hungry. Seriously, look at the size of this one. There's so much to it. And I think I think it'd be much easier to explore when I actually have the elytra. So I'm going to try and get hit by these guys. Come on, one of you. And then hopefully float me way up. It might work. It might just work, ladies and gentlemen. Working pretty well. From here, I just need to get hit by this one. And can I make it? I don't know. I need, I need, well, come on, one of these. Hit me. That's it. Right, if they follow me, this is the dangerous part. Come on, I'm so close. Yes! Well, that's one way to get to the end ship. Probably not the smartest or safest, but it, it used the least blocks anyway. And now with elytra... Well, <laughs> sky's the limit. And I've also got some nice extra diamond armor. I think I already have one. But yeah, but these are better. Also, instant health. You never know. Things do sometimes get a little dangerous in these places. Here we have another chest. Aha, a chest plate. Not that I can use it since I, I kind of need to wear my Elytra. And ideally, I would get the ender chest, but I need silk touch for that. Silk touch, which still remains to be found. Also, whilst I do have quite a lot of firework rockets, I still plan to use them very sparingly because once they run out, I I've got no more. And that's because paper is a very rare commodity. The only way around it is to either get sugar cane from a wandering trader or set up a hero of the village farm. Then every time I win a raid, loads of cartographers would throw me paper. That's actually a good idea. I might try that. I've never built one before. And you know me, I always like to build everything if I can. A much better shovel. I don't mind that. And a diamond sword. And there does in general just seem to be quite a bit more loot here, which is a very nice positive indeed. A diamond pickaxe. Very nice. Once again, a little bit low. Probably a good idea to, to drink one of these. And now that I think about it, glass bottles are kind of rare. So I should probably hold on to them. Brewing stands, on the other hand, yeah, they're not so important. 
Should really be using the sharpness four sword now, shouldn't I? And I got one with mending. I just need some boots, and then I will have found every piece of diamond armor. So I'll keep searching. I'm, I'm sure it won't take me too long. Especially now that I can fly. There's one, and it looks promising. Two chests at the top of this one with more leggings. Okay, yeah. And, and a helmet. Probably not useful either. And down here we have boots. Okay, perfect. And a fortune three pickaxe, which is slightly better. I don't know why I, I, there's no ores other than the nether quartz ore here, but I can make use of this obsidian since it is a little bit of a scarce commodity in this this whole challenge. And now I'll just keep looting all of these and see how much good stuff I can get. And that includes getting the ender dragon head <laughs> at least one of the times. I think I'm happy with everything I've got. Got a shulker box with loads of goodies. This elytra's not got much life left in it, so I've got to keep an eye on that. But I'm gonna try to find an end gateway. Hopefully, it won't be too difficult. There goes the Elytra. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad it was low because I messed up the MLG. I'll still put a fresh pair on and continue searching. Perfect. I found one right there. And it's also by an end city, so of course I've, I've got to go and uh, get, to get the loot from here. Hopefully, I find some very, very good stuff. Like that, which would be amazing if it didn't have flipping cursor binding on it. Oh, it's the perfect pickaxe, ladies and gentlemen. And these are prop four leggings. Perfect. Entities really are very, very OP. And with that, I'm done. And it is time for home sweet home. Well, once I get the dragon egg, it is anyway. There we go. Take me back to spawn. Oh, some uh, XP came through the portal as well. And now I'd just like to spend a bit of time organizing stuff and also making an anvil to create really good gear. My gear is looking pretty good now. I do, of course, still want to improve it quite a bit. But first thing on my list of things to do is just to get rid of all the rest of the passive animals, especially the rabbits, because they're now kind of useless to me. Next, I'm going to grab some wheat and also wood to make a large pen that will be filled with sheep. Why though? Why do I want a pen full of sheep? Well, normally when I get netherite, I just use TNT. But in case you didn't realize, there's no sand anywhere in this world. So instead, I plan to make a wool farm. It'll let me get loads of beds for finding ancient debris, and it'll give me loads of wool to trade with villagers. This would probably be faster if I take those leads I got earlier. And on another note, I'm going to take three diamonds to craft an axe. I could trade for an axe, and it's way more renewable. But I've got loads of spare diamonds, so <laughs> who cares? Welcome to your new home, sheep. Now to get some shears, collect up loads of wool, and craft some carpets so I can easily get in and out without having to break stuff. It will eventually be an automatic farm, but I'm, I'm too lazy to set that up at the moment. For now, manual will do the job just fine. All right, horse, come on. We're going for an adventure. Going exploring to see what we can find. And mobs are now spawning in because I cleared out all the spawn chunks. Fantastic. I'll get some iron from this village up here, and then I can shear sheep whenever I find them. Also, lowering the render distance will mean way more mobs will spawn. Well, they would if it hadn't started raining to ruin the day. So instead, I'll keep exploring and find something cool here. A minecart chest with gold and diamonds, plus melon seeds. I don't know if I had access to those. I think beetroot seeds are probably not an issue, but the melon seeds are probably useful. Well, they will be useful if I ever need melon anyway. I, I don't know when. And of course, the villagers have more sheep to shear. Oh, I got a double on him there. Sheared him just as he was regrowing. And you as well? Oh my goodness, fantastic. Probably won't get a notch apple this time, but well, you know what? We'll get nothing this time. But a gold block's still good. Apparently, I've already been here because there's, there's crimson wood. I just must have left that one behind. Where am I? And that's just great. It's now dark enough for hostile mobs to spawn as well. Oh, this is by the stronghold. I'm guessing we might be in a thunderstorm. Does it mean I can sleep? Yes. And animals will actually start to spawn, including the rarest sheep in Minecraft, the pink sheep. I should take you with me, but I'm, I'm too lazy to do that. So instead, I'm just going to put you in a hole and then continue my journey. And now armed with a decent amount of wool, I'm going to plant some melons, just because I think they'll be handy to have. Craft my first ender chest, which I can't really put it in until I, I get a silk touch pickaxe. And then I'll begin a mission to collect lots of wood. I feel bad for that village as I've kind of ruined it. So now it's time to ruin this village instead. All of that is definitely enough. I'll grab a few extra bits of wool from here, cook some food and begin operation collect ancient debris. What the heck are you doing here? You shouldn't have wandered through that portal. Anyway, he's either on his own or maybe he'll find his way back. Who knows? More importantly, I need to try and dig my way down to the lower levels. Well, I would do it if I hadn't realized I have forgotten the wool. I can't believe I forgot that. It's literally the most important part of the whole operation. And now I can do take two of digging my way down, hoping to find a way through this lava, which, whoa, look at this. I would say which I seem to have successfully done, but Piece number one already. Piece number two as well. What a very fantastic start indeed. This spot should be good. Whoa. As I was saying, this spot should be good enough, although I don't want to dig into a basalt delta. Then we simply go along and dig trenches and then blow up the beds. This should in theory get me plenty of stuff, but of course quite a lot of beds are going to be needed. 
Ah, we found some. At least two more pieces. Yeah, it was three. Beautiful. Bringing me to a total of five. And I've still got a few beds left to go at. Whilst digging trenches, found an extra piece. So things really are moving along nicely. Two more in this corner, which is a grand total of eight pieces, which is the equivalent of two ingots. And that is me all out of beds. Not a bad little journey, though. I'm happy with what I've got. Only maxed out items are going to get converted to netherite. And the candidates are basically just this pickaxe. Everything else is, is not... I, I guess my leggings... Or, or Yeah, I guess my leggings could. Because I can't get swift snake and thorns will be coming from a villager. So these guys have been working very hard eating grass, which is good because I accidentally used my bed to blow up. So um, yeah, now I can go to sleep. I can smelt these and make a chest for nether items. Also turns out I had a gray bed that I completely missed. You know, I, the, guys, villagers, you need at least one bed in this village. So there you go. Meanwhile, I'm going to make a smithing table, craft the netherite, and do some upgrading. I don't plan to do more ancient debris mining for a little bit until I've, you know, got better upgrades on my armor. Instead, I think it's time I looked into the hero of the village farm. It'll get me all the paper I need for my elytra, plus it'll get me gunpowder for the rockets, emerald for trades, it, it's just going to be fantastic. And redstone. It's going to get me redstone dust. Wait, I, am I actually going to be able to build a hero of the village farm without redstone dust? These are all questions that need answering. Thankfully, I can easily get redstone. I just give this fella a bunch of emeralds. After a bit of extra thought and research, I've realized that iron is going to be pretty important for all other farms, including the Hero of the Village one. So I'm going to make it my priority to build an iron farm. It'll be a pretty simple design, shouldn't take too much effort. It will be built using all the space I have down here. It's it's a pretty simple design using just, yeah, trapdoors, slabs, few beds. That's where the villagers will be trapped, and here is where the mob is going to be that's going to upset them. Apparently, a random villager has already wandered down it. Mate, you're not meant to be here just yet, but there's a, there's a bed there if you want it. Has to be said, the first villager is here. I suppose because there's no other beds anywhere else, all the villagers just gravitate towards them. Two of them? Oh my goodness, I don't know where you came from. I better sleep in this third one, otherwise there'll be no chance for me. This right here is the box that the golems are going to spawn. I'm going to have a nice little chest right here. Then I want to till the ground. <laughs> you can even see the gaps. I should make that look better, but then I'll also add water. Water. Then to speed things up, the golem is going to be taken out by lava. So I just need a gate on the end here with a sign on top. Otherwise, the gate will burn. Also, apparently, we've got all the villagers. All right, guys, this is now closed for business. Sorry, that is my bed. And it's almost ready for business, apart from the fact that golems can spawn where I've marked out this area. So carpets will be needed. And I need to lure one of these guys into the farm. Man, there's so many villagers. Why have you all gathered here? This is going to be great for me to make more of these. But it's very, very unnecessary. Right, we got one in. A golem has spawned as well. Okay, it's kind of working. So now I'll go to sleep. That golem is putting in a very good shift, by the way. But to fully finish it, as I said, there's a couple of things left. Oh my goodness. There's a villager here and now there's a slime. You guys, this is only for magma cubes. Anyway, as I said, one thing is a lava bucket. And the other thing is going to be from these guys. These guys which have pretty much eaten all the grass available. I need to make this pen bigger, don't I? Because <laughs> They've got nothing to eat. No matter though, because right now they are produced enough of what I'm going to need. Because from this, I'm going to craft carpet, add my lava in there, and spawn proof the whole area. As I'm doing this, I'm realizing I've not got enough carpet, and I'm not even sure if carpet stops from spawning. Instead, I've got a much better idea, where I just dig a too deep area out, and simply fill it with water. And then no more golems will be able to spawn. Well, they won't once I've got rid of the likes of you anyway. Look at that. One spawned. And it's working absolutely perfectly. Plus it's in spawn chunks, so I'll be working all the time. And I think the design looks pretty cool. Although by the looks of things, there's so, so many villagers here that, that could probably be put to, put to good use as well. So I reckon it's worth building another one right here. And once I place some lava right here... Sorry, Golem, you're, <laughs> you're the first in line. Iron Golem Farm number two is also done. This first one's already got me a great amount. And whilst they're running, I can be getting on with other things, such as chopping down trees, expanding the sheep pen, and also planting lots of new saplings. Next, I reckon my best bet is to try and get a beacon. It'll be very useful for regeneration in AFKing in the Hero of the Village farm. And defeating the Wither is also a very cool thing to do too. I wrote down the coordinates of the fortress that I was at last time, so I have a pretty good idea of where I'm going. Although I'm flying past another one in, in doing so, so that was a lot nearer, but... I know this one's good, mainly because it's in a basalt delta, so it'll have way more mob spawning. I just look at all of them over there. Come on, surely one of these has got to drop me somewhere. Nope, but, uh, you know, it's still a good start. I have got loot in three, so this probably won't take me too long. I'll just have to get busy. There we go, that's the first one obtained. And a second one straight away. I said it wouldn't take me too long, but I didn't think it'd be this quick. Just goes to show... Oh my... Okay, well, maybe I shouldn't do that jump. As I was saying, it just goes to show how a good fortress makes a massive difference. But an idiot penguin can still technically mess everything up. That's three of them obtained, perfect. So there's no point hanging around any longer than I need to. I'm going back home. That must be one of the fastest times that I've... Oh, my elytra just broke. Glad that didn't happen while I was over lava. But as I was saying, that must be one of the fastest times that I've ever done that. It was literally in less than one Minecraft day. It's also great that now I do need to dig to get back to the portal, but... 
It's very, very fast. Here we are, home sweet home. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm going to need to use this bed. And I did forget one thing from the nether. Four pieces of this. Yes, it's, it's very much needed. Although apparently I have some in my inventory. I don't know if that's from earlier or I just got a load of pieces in one go. Either way, I am ready to spawn the wither. But am I ready to battle it? I'm not sure I am. My bow is just a normal one. I, th I think I need to upgrade it. So I'll craft one of these. Make as many bookcases as I can. Okay, maybe not as many bookcases as I can. Just make enough to set everything up. And then I just need more levels. And nothing would bring me greater satisfaction than getting those levels from slimes. I am sick of them always interrupting me. But now every last one will be exterminated. So close to 30 levels, but... Why is there an iron golem out here? Maybe I should extend the trenches to just be a little bit bigger. You're not meant to be out and about, buddy. That'll affect the rates. Well, <laughs> the rates being rubbish on this one. Whereas this one's getting me plenty. Oh, I see what happened. I just kind of saw it in action. He went into the lava and... Oh, wait, what? I'm an idiot. As usual, it's all SB737 being an idiot. For some reason, I didn't think it was necessary to put a sign underneath. So the golems could just swim up and out through the lava and then stop burning before they died. You might have outsmarted me, but... Uh, <laughs> It won't last forever. I have had the last laugh. And now they're spawning there, and yeah, they're not able to swim out. Okay, that's much better. Meanwhile, I've successfully reached 30 levels. Kind of don't want to stop it. It's so addictive taking out slimes. But there's no point carrying on. The XP is just more expensive than it needs to be. It's a shame I can't trade slime balls for emeralds. I have loads of them then. Instead, I just have these four. And I need lapis, obviously, to do the upgrades so I can get four lapis. And please, give me some good. It doesn't have to be insane. Just something good. Flame. Oh, that is good, though. I, I, I'll take flame. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, it could have been better. It could have been power five and infinity and all that. But I'm happy with what I've got because I can grab a couple of pieces of flint, make a fletching table and give this guy a few sticks, then get arrows from him. Meaning that infinity just isn't really necessary. I also got 32 arrows off him. In an ideal world, I want to get at least 64, which means just grabbing a few more logs. And whilst these great oak trees aren't the greatest to mine, they're kind of annoying. They do give you extra wood, so I, I can't really complain. Hello, good sir. I'm going to bring you even more gifts. That should definitely be enough arrows, I think. I grabbed the notch apple and the golden apple just in case things go wrong. And in my opinion, I think I'm ready for the battle. I just need to find the perfect spot where the wither is not going to destroy a village or anything like that. I need to keep my sheep safe over there as well, so anywhere not near those places. Very conveniently, the wither will go after all the slime, so... You know, that, that, that'll teach him a lesson. But I'd say really the main thing that bothers me is this is going to make a big mess in the terrain. So that's kind of why I wanted to be away from everything. This is probably good enough, I think. I'll just go just to here. Let's get to it. We're going to put these three down. And we've got the wither. Now, have I got everything I need? I, I think I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be. I've got my bow. I've just got to brace myself for a battle. Here we go. So first things first, pepper it with arrows. I'm going to try and not get withered as much as I can. That just means avoiding the blue shells, I believe. And if I can keep it in this area, <laughs> it might not make too much mess. Tell you what, so far, this is, this is going very well. I might just pepper it with a few extra arrows, take a few hits. I think I'm going all right. The good bow as well. Okay, now I've got withered. This is where, no, this, yeah, this is definitely where things can go wrong. I should definitely just do an arrow, Keep moving. Do an arrow. Keep moving. Patience is key. Although its health isn't going down as fast as I'd like, it's still going down. Having said that, my health is also going down. I'm going to try and pop a bit of steak. And I've got the gapple if I happen to need it. Come on, let's go two hours. Okay, we can't do any more hours. It's sword time. This is always my favorite bit because it's it's actually... It's kind of not easy. Oh, man, the sun's setting as well. I don't want it to go dark. That would be a disaster. But this bit is, is easy, but you've got to watch your health. I got him! I defeated the wither! Don't mind if I do. It didn't make too much of a mess either. I can't make the beacon just yet because I will need a librarian to get glass from. So I might as well get this lectern down so I can at least get the ball rolling on this. Otherwise, I'll probably try and get mending or unbreaking from one of these. So it, it won't happen just yet, but glass is obtainable. Just only when I eventually get around to it. And the beacon isn't isn't really the hard part. That isn't going to be the thing that takes me a while to, to make, you know, with the glass. I can do that fairly quickly. The longer process is definitely getting all the iron. I need 23 stacks, which I'm not even close to. And I've got all these spare villagers here that, that would be great in an iron farm. So I'm going to grab all the needed materials and expand the iron farm area. Pretty good progress has been made, although I've, I've run out of food, I've run out of villagers. Actually, I haven't run out of food. Technically, no, because I have some in a shulker box. Villagers, on the other hand, I've definitely run out of, but I want to get some mobs into these boats. Meanwhile, all four of these are working very, very nicely. The iron is flowing. On these older ones, there's loads of iron. I, I might even already have enough iron for the full beacon when I think about it. Although, this one's pretty slow, so yeah, maybe not. <laughs> although, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I just need to first get the mobs in, and then I can add the water. And I've got the perfect candidate over there. Down he's gonna come. Or not, apparently. Wh wh where did he go? I'll try again, this time by making him walk down. He's successfully in the boat, which means... Just 
just villagers I needed. And I can box all of this in. I have to do the same on this side. Although, okay, well, you're in anyway. And that means I can safely go to sleep and focus on luring over some villagers. If I give them all three bread each, then they should breed me an extra villager. Well, at least they will if they stop running around. We'll, we'll just give them time on that one. Meanwhile, I want to know... What the heck is he doing all the way over that? And he's still walking away. Look, that's your village, mate. Why are you going in that direction? He is a long, long way from home. And he's even the furthest. There's another one over there. What the heck? Come on, mate. Let's change your life. And instead of having all this to wander, you can be trapped in a tiny little hole. I can hear a baby villager, but I, I can't see a baby villager. Okay, well, this is a disaster waiting to, to happen. They're in the boat together. You're okay as a baby, but as soon as you get an adult, it, it won't turn out well for you. So you're welcome, little fella. Until you grow up, you, uh, you stay in there. I was about to say I'll retrieve the final villager, but... He's not. There's an even further away one. You know what? You're lost, all right? You you just go that way. I'm taking this guy. And to be fair to you, if you keep going, you'll reach that village over there where you might be happier. So I'm, I'm sure that'll do him. Come on, mate, though. You're, you're not going anywhere. Job done. In you get. There's a baby villager on the way. There we go. We've got one. So once that baby grows up, the farm will, will pretty much be complete. I'll just have to get another another mob down there. But it's, it's about time that it was done. Next job on the list is just to get these filled with water. And whilst I wait for those baby villagers to grow, I think I should mine a load more trees, trade for a few emeralds, buy some lapis, and get a silk touch pickaxe. And if I was to put all these pickaxes together, I'd be able to get a really, really good one. But I don't want to do that just yet. Instead, I want to get back to level 30 when I'm close. Which means, unfortunately for these guys, <laughs> slimes are on the menu. Then I could upgrade my axe and get a rubbish one. Not having that. I, I could trade with this guy and upgrade him. Or I could just use these diamonds because, to be honest, I don't think I have any other use for them. More annoyingly, it does mean I'm going to have to get 30 levels again. And I assume the fastest way to do that was by taking out slimes, but... Maybe gathering quartz could be fast as well. There's only one way to find out. Hard to say exactly, but I do think it's probably a bit quicker mining quartz. So from now on, slimes are off the menu, which is something that I'm pretty glad about. Come on, this time be better. Give me that efficiency. Give me that good stuff. Yes, efficiency four. I'm going to combine these. It makes a very nice axe. Plus these can go together. Now, do I have enough levels? Okay, I need, I need two more. And because it's easier taking out you guys than going through the portal, I, I guess I can get it from here. That gives me a maxed out silk touch pickaxe. And the best thing about that is I can now use ender chests. At least I could use ender chests if I actually had any ender pearls. Only got one at the moment, which I suppose one is better than none. But once that sun goes down, I'm going to find three more endermen. In other news, has this villager grown up yet? Oh, indeed it has. Now, can, can you actually get into bed or do you need me to, to open the way for you? There you go, go on. No need to be sheepish. Or where are you going? That's more like it. Into bed. Stay there forever. Quite literally. I'm actually quite evil when I when, he's, when I say it like that. What about this one? Same fate? Yep, indeed you are. Looks like we're going to have a busy night tonight. Oh, you went straight in. You know where you're going. Why, why haven't you gone to bed? We'll there we go. So first things first, let's get the iron farms going. You're a perfect candidate. And the plan's to go like this. Jump down here. He'll follow me through. Then I'll just come down here and he, he'll go in the boat. Against the odds, my plan actually worked perfectly. Now to do the same in this one. And it's another plan that worked perfectly. Which means once I get rid of you, I'll have six iron farms on the go. Fantastic. Now to find some endermen. Hopefully because I have looting three, taking out one will be enough. But we'll see. We got from that four. Oh, look at that. More than enough. See you later, everyone. I'm going to sleep. And I'm going to craft a load more ender chests. And use my fancy upgraded axe to chop down trees much faster. And finish ruining the village. There's only a few more of these left. We'll also take the time to breed even more sheep. <laughs> they're, uh, they're growing back a lot faster now. And since I've expanded the pen, I might as well also breed many more. Tree farm's going to be really big. I've got 23 saplings here to plant. Team Trees is making a big return. Ideally, I need mending because things are starting to get a little bit broken that don't have it. But right now, I want more netherite. So I'll craft a few beds. Give all of the villagers a bed because I, I, I kind of feel bad for them that they have nowhere to sleep. And that I completely destroyed their village so yeah this is probably for the best and i can go on a netherite hunt might as well use this tunnel that i dug before but this time i'll i'll go in this direction i wonder if i can do it something fast like this like just kind of go like that oh okay i'd set myself on fire in the process but then yeah just kind of speed up it'll take more damage but i'll cover more area way way faster something like that and then <laughs> i'm just gonna get better i should have fire resistance that would help a lot wouldn't it i realized the trick is to go like that and punch the ground just in case there we have it. The first pieces of ancient debris. Whilst it is quicker, it does do a lot more damage. And it, it does do a lot more damage to your armor as well. Maybe not a good thing. At least with the slow and steady method, you know, you, you don't take damage. Your armor doesn't. So perhaps, you know, considering these are nearly broken, <laughs> that's what I should start using. Another piece here. Need to get it before it uh, gets swamped by lava. And it was a double. Perfect. That's an extra netherite piece altogether. A triple even. Doesn't get much better than that. I found yet another one. That's all it was, just one. And I have just one bed left. Come on. Oh, no, wait. There's another one on here. It was a double. Very nice. So it's seven pieces. If this final bed can just get me one more, I'll have two more netherite pieces. Is it a success? 
No, it's, it's not a success. But what I am going to do is just strip mine for a bit and see if I have any joy. Since this tunnel will get used for blowing up beds eventually anyway, so it's, it's not like it's a waste of time. Finally, I've found another piece. It's, it's taken a few days. I've now got eight. Wow. I, well, it's a very, very long tunnel. Let's just say that much. Might as well head back now. Can't do much more, especially considering my armor is so close to being broken. And I'm out of food, and I think I need to come up with a better food solution, since bread is, is pretty useless. I'll smelt those in there. I just need some wood. I'll, I'll chuck that in. The village is now thriving because uh, I've got beds in here. Golems could spawn, and they will sort out the slimes. Plus, I forgot about it, but I, I had a load of stuff cooking here as you can see i've got chicken and mutton so food isn't as much of a worry as i first thought i'm also curious to see just how much iron i've got when i tot it all together looks as though the answer could be quite a lot yeah loads i've actually got more than enough to make a full beacon now which is perfect and iron's one of those things that you can you can just never have too much of i can also use those poppies to make bone meal everything really is coming together although if i'm gonna make a beacon i am gonna need glass and to do that i need a librarian so that should probably be the next priority i have got a lectern somewhere around here there it is so i just need to find a village that's willing to walk into a hole and I can work towards getting something like mending. And I've just got on breaking three for a good price. Not what I'm looking for, but might as well keep it. Also just realized I do not have enough emeralds for the trade. So thankfully it's been so long that all these trees have grown. So I've got to quickly chop these down to get enough emeralds from this guy to successfully trade for a couple of books. At least one of these can go onto some elytra. And right now everything else I own actually already has on breaking on it. So <laughs> buying the other one wasn't really necessary, but at some point I'm sure it will come in handy It also means it's not worth me buying loads of books to upgrade it to the next level I can't give it paper of course So I reckon I should chop down all these trees so I can get more emeralds and then work towards getting mending Since it'll be worth me buying loads of mending books and then I will unlock the glass trade My goodness, I didn't have to get a lot of saplings from that and there's still new ones dropping Can't wait for this whole area to just be one massive big forest Although at the moment that's not too important Instead the priority is to make this lectern and uh, find a willing volunteer. Looks like this guy is up for the job. And, and I, I, I appreciate the willingness, buddy, but we don't need you. No, actually, we don't need you. You want to leave? You leave, all right? We're, we're staying down here. Guy really wasn't going to take no for an answer, was it? Well, now we can start trading with him. I have managed to get the mending trade, but it's uh, 39 emeralds. There's no way I'm paying that. We're going to keep trying. Finally, that's more like it. Only 17 emeralds. I can I can get on board with your, those kind of prices. I can get that on my boots before they break. And look at me forest. It's absolutely flourishing. Apart from one tiny little sapling that refuses to grow. So I reckon my best option now is just to mine up as many trees as I can, trade them for sticks, and keep buying mending books until this guy will eventually sell me glass. Looks like a lot of deforestation is going to be needed. After quite a long time, I have got many, many mending books. I do want to put it on this helmet. As you can see, it is almost broken. In fact, I have got to it just in time. Let's go and put it on and do some XP collecting from these little fellas. Then to upgrade this guy to the next thing, he's either going to need books or he's going to need me to buy learn. I ain't buying, that, buying those for 42. Instead, I'll go exploring to find more books. Also, d does anybody remember what I did with my horse? Because I cannot find it in that village anywhere. So... <laughs> I'm kind of worried that I've somehow lost it. Now, there is a village all the way over there. But the question is, will this village have bookcases? I'm actually hoping for a saddle, then I can use one of those horses. Sadly, not one in here. But in here, there was one. Perfect. All right, village, I hope you don't mind me sleeping in your bed. Now, I shall tame one of these horses and have a much speedier way to travel. Still no books in this village, but the direction that we're going in, I have a plan. Yes, as you can see, the stronghold is up ahead. And what do we have in the stronghold? Books. Yes, lots and lots of books. I'm going to get every single one down here because some of them are a little bit annoying. Well, actually, you know, maybe I could just break the floor and then it could go. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, you know what? We're just sending them all down to the bottom. I'll collect them in a moment. I've had enough of mining. There's loads of them. I've only got one way to get down, and I think that is to fly with Elytra. Then I'll gather all these up. Yeah, I've got like seven or eight stacks. And this time, <laughs> I'm not going to lose my horse. Hey, it's very easy to know where my home is now. Just, just look for the place with a million trees. All right, villager, have I got good... What are you doing down there? Anyway, have I got good news for you, all right? Loads of emeralds. Let's get you upgraded. You better sell me glass. And he does. Okay, perfect. We can we can now grab that. It's going dark, so I'd better get some sleep. I want to make sure that this horse definitely doesn't wander off or disappear or get lost. And I'm still sure that I put my other horse in a hole, but I, just, I can't find that hole anywhere. Now that I'm armed with some glass, I can go ahead and make a beacon. I'll grab three stacks of iron blocks and begin building right here. I built it to the top. Now to place this down... And I have brought home the beacon. I think I'm going to get it to give me haste too, because that's always a useful thing. I'll try not to die in the process. Maybe I need regeneration. And I do definitely at some point want to build this hero of the village farm so that I can get unlimited paper. But to make it efficient, it will require about 300 villagers, which will take me like 30 days to breed them all. It'll take a long time, put it that way. So I reckon if I do a 200 days video, 
That should be a job that I do. Right now, I have a bigger project, which is to get some totems. We, we need to do a raid. And I still need to fully upgrade my armor and get it to netherite. So yeah, I've got plenty to be getting on with. So I'm going to take my last remaining bits of paper to go ahead and make some cartography tables. I'm also just an idiot. You literally just watched me make four crafting tables for no reason. Doesn't matter. I also want to grab a bow. I've got loads of arrows. That's fine. I think everything's looking pretty good. Got a golden apple if it goes wrong. I think the notch apple can stay here. I'll, I'll sh I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll grab a few extra pieces of wood. Jump on me. Oh, no. <laughs> I was about to say jump on my horse. Don't try and suffocate me like that. Then I'll head to where I know that there is a pillager outpost. There's the outpost and I've just realized I, I forgot my sword. <laughs> Pretty crucial thing if you're gonna do a raid, so I'll, I'll go and get it. Okay, it was, it was in my end of chest all along, I didn't need to come back. Alright, let's 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 just get on with this. Collecting any cartography tables I see. Hang on a minute, there's paper in these chests as well. Don't know why I didn't think about that sooner. I'm gonna wait till the sun goes down, then safely trap every villager into their house. Then I'll gather up all the composters and replace them with cartography tables. Now I need a pillager captain. You'll do nicely. And so now it's time I take on the raid. Don't panic guys, I've got everything under control. You cannot escape, you're completely safe. I'm gonna assume Super flat, it's gonna be very, very easy to spot the pillagers and stuff. Look at it, you guys can't hide from me. The knockback is actually kind of annoying. I might <laughs> I might just go in with the old uh, axe for these guys. Wave one was straightforward. Also, what did I do with my horse? That's a good question. Is that my horse over there? Don't wander off. Actually, it was just simply telling me where the next raid was. Okay. I can definitely use knockback on you because you guys are just annoying. But when you've got a bow and arrow, the axe is the way. Another wave done. I don't trust you, by the way. You you go in. Come on. In a hole, horse. Let's let's get you safe. We'll just end up shooting you by mistake or something stupid otherwise. Come on, Golem. Do your work. Do I have any iron for you? I have one piece. Golem, be healed. Wasn't the best heal, but it's better than nothing. Whoa, we've got a ravager here, mate. Can you, can you come and deal with this? Nope. Okay, I'll sort it. You've got regeneration as well. Mate, okay, you've, you've got some power. All right, you stop splashing him. I'm actually super... Oh, I didn't mean to hit you, Golem. No, we're on a team. We're on a team. Man, not only have I got the, the, the enemies of the raid, but we've got the Golem angry at me now. And I'm out of food. I'm going to have to... It's going dark. Everything's going wrong. I think first things first, my priority has got to be to get some sleep, okay? No panicking. Just get some sleep. Then in the safety of this room, I can craft some bread that I stole from the villagers. But hey, I'm protecting their village. I know I brought this upon them, but I'm also protecting them. Oh, I've got flame on my bow as well. That's brilliant. I think... I don't want don't to say speak too soon, but I think the golem has fallen, which is a very sad moment. Not to worry, though, because I can handle you guys on my own. All right, now we've got the one with the evokes. I don't really want to have knock back on you because you guys run away really fast, but let's just try and get there. Yeah, we got a totem somewhere in there. I think I picked it up. Let's get that equipped. I got a loaded crossbow from you guys. Yeah, that's right. The bow is definitely the way to go with these slimes. I don't need you getting involved as well. I might have to pop a gap there. I think it would be wise, wouldn't it? Because I am taking some serious damage. Look at this. I've just led him well away from the village. All part of my master plan. Right, that's it. I'm going with the sword now. I've had just about enough of this. All right, you guys think you can do this? Well, you're all wrong. There we go. All of them got good. Get out of here. And there's a new golem in town. Brilliant. We've, uh, we've got reinforcements now. Look, golem. Don't waste your time on these slimes. They're not worth it. We've got much, much bigger problems over here. Like right, that guy. Summoning the vexes all the time. Anyway, we got rid of him. Actually, we've made light work of this wave. We've done very well. Got another tom. Oh, are you trying to get at my villagers, eh? Well, it won't work. Okay, well, you did a good hit on me, but it won't work. Alrighty. Get out of here. My armor's looking good. I've got mending on all of it, which is great. And this might be the final wave. I could be wrong, but it might be the final one. And there they are. Yes, it's the final one. It's the big one. I'd better up. Okay, this guy's this guy is is sending in everything. Let's get rid of him. Vexes, I hate you so much. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just uh, get rid of you. There we go. Another rider down. Whoa, slimes, get out of it. Whoa, I'm weak. Come on, please stop attacking all these slimes and do something. That's it. Get them. Look, get get the big fellas. Come on. These baby slimes don't do any damage, and you're just attacking them. Meanwhile, I've got two ravagers. I'm out of arrows. Finally, are you getting involved? Come on. That's it. Get them now. That's it. <laughs> the powerhouse is on the job. There's one more. Don't go for the vexes. Come on. I've got to get rid of the vexes for the golden to help me. That's it. Turn around. That's it. Get him now. I'll teach him to mess with me. I want to get the final one though. Don't, don't get too out. And where are you? That's it. Don't think you can run now. Everyone's gone. Oh, you, oh that was his last mo move, was it? But I am the hero. Come on, guys. It's safe to come out now. Yep. No need to panic anymore. I've saved the day. That's it. Come and celebrate. Do your fireworks. All that good stuff. I mean, well, I need to wait for this poison to go. I'm on just half a heart. That's better. I can start regening. The totem here. I don't want to forget about that. Have I left another totem? I should have four all together. Yeah, I have somewhere. Let's let's go and get rid of all this. You guys need to... Why have we got a farmer left, eh? We need you all to become cartographers. That's it, guys. Go and get your job. That's it, Gollum. You you go and get rid of him as well. Now, where did I leave that top? Well, we've got two Gollums. You're not looking too good, are you, mate? I think it's over here, yeah. They can go in the end of the chest. Now, have we got seven cartographers? We've got four. We've got five, six. 
Seven and a, and a spare straggler as well. Brilliant. You gave me a map. Well, thank you. I don't want a map though. I want paper. There we go. Now you get it. Oh, they get it. The paper's now flowing in. I'm going to make two more cartography tables. Let's let's keep getting people in. Look at them go. Listen, see, this is the idea. You just want loads and loads of villagers like this. They give you a gift anywhere from every 30 seconds to like five minutes or something around that. So... You know, I, I, I could have to wait a little bit. You've not got a job. Come on, go and get a job, buddy. There we go. Now you're in the uh, in the circle. So yeah, I, I got you get here of the village for 40 minutes when you get it. So I'm just going to stay here for ages. In fact, I might as well build this up a little bit. Now you guys are completely safe from any mobs that might try to get in. Could also do with some torches in there just to light things up. And now we're staying in here till you've all given me loads and loads of gift. That's it. You guys get it. The sooner you give me all the paper, the sooner you can all get out of here. Here of the village has now run out. But well, these guys have given me 61 paper, 46 maps. You can see just how effective this method is. We've got another random villager. Where have you come from? What is that golem doing all the way? I have so many questions. Let's get this extra villager into the fold. That's it. Go on. No, no, not that way. Just realized there's only 11 cartography tables, but there's 12 villagers, so... Let's get... Well, I kind of like being in the middle there, though. Let's let's go and put it here. Welcome to the party, buddy. Yeah, I knew you'd want to be here. This village, you're, you're the outcast because you won't work, will you? Well, you know, I'm going to leave you alive. I'm going to steal a load of wheat to make lots more bread. Just realised there's loads over here. I can take two. Then I'll ride my horse back home, grab some chicken and a load of arrows, then go all the way back this way, get some gunpowder whilst I'm passing, take out another captain, defeat the entire raid, and let these guys give me loads and loads of paper. It's run out again, and I managed to get another 55 piece of paper over a stack of maps. Guys, you, you give me away too many maps there. An actual hero of the village farm would be a lot better. Don't all escape by the way. Yeah, hero of the village farm would work a lot better, be a lot more effective. I wouldn't have to keep running around to make sure I picked everything up because there'd be water to make sure I, <laughs> I collect it all. But all in all, I've got loads more totems. I've got a stack, oh, well over a stack of paper. Almost two stacks to be precise. Now let's get you attached back to here so that we don't lose you. With so much paper, firework rockets are now going to be a worry of the past. We can also add mending to these elytra and go out on a bit of a mission to get gunpowder. Oh, look at this. There's about seven creepers around me. And knockback is very, very useful against them. I've got a stack of 13. I think that's more than enough to make plenty of rockets. Although there's three more creepers here. I, I can't say no. And next time I need gunpowder, I'll make a farm for it. I'll quickly get rid of all the straggler creepers. And that is all of the firework rockets that I can craft. Very, very healthy indeed. Now, these iron golem farms are getting me loads of iron, but they're also getting me loads of poppies. So I'm going to gather up as many as I can, grab these seven composters I stole from a village, line them up, put hoppers on top, and more hoppers underneath. And that gives me a fully functioning bone meal farm. Next, I've just got to load it up with poppies, and then the bone meal will be flowing in. I'm glad that little project's done, but the main thing that I've got a problem with is, is my armor. It's not maxed out. It's not, it's not anything special. It needs sorting. So first things first, I'm flying to a brand new village. Actually, first things first, I'm going to shear all these sheep, since the wool will definitely come in handy. Then I'll go and fly to a brand new village, with the intention of finding a blacksmith that has a grindstone. Yes, I am too lazy to craft one myself. Then I'll use it on these, purchase a bit more lapis, and see if I can get something decent on these. Prop 3. Now, what does it currently have? Prop 4. Okay, it's, it's, it, it, that doesn't go down as decent. I'll give it a chance anyway, though, in case I get feather fall. Nope. Okay, that was, that was a waste of time. Okay, guys, leave me alone. Still think it's better to do it that way than try and get it from village trades all the time, but it'll require quite a bit of XP, something that I have a plan for. As you can see, I can very speedily get XP from mining quartz, but I don't want to have to keep coming to the nether every time I get to level 30, so if I grab my silk touch pickaxe, I can just take the ores and mine them up with my fortune pickaxe later when I need the XP. Will it be better this time? Uh, no, it won't, but at least now I can get the XP much more local to home. In fact, this is a very fast way to do it. Look at it. I can just place and mine it straight away. Finally managed to get a positive. Got fire aspect on a sword. And feather falling is the next one for my boots. That's fantastic. I have run out of nether quartz, but I know where to find some. Yes, I just need a mining journey in the nether. Where I preferably don't die to some piglins. Didn't want to have to do this, boys, but you left me no choice. Man, all these slimes drive me crazy. I will build a mob switch in this world if I continue the series. And it's definitely going to happen. So Feather Falling 4, it's literally just that on its own. Now, another very important thing I'm going to need is Thorns 3. And it's going to be too hard to get any other way other than using a villager. So I just need a willing candidate that's going to come down here. Although having said that, what? how have you both got jobs? That's not supposed to be part of the plan. Is he using this lectern? Or have they decided to use each other? Are they sharing? Now, what's going on? I have no idea. All I know is that we've got people using the smokers as job site blocks and we don't want that. The grindstone is also off limits, don't be using that. And it seems like they're doing the little meeting thing, so until tomorrow, I, I won't have a villager to use. But that's okay, because in the meantime, I can try and get aqua affinity. None of these look like they're going to give it, so I'm just, I'm just going to kind of keep using the grindstone until it eventually shows up. There we go, we've got a level 31 waiting for me. I'll mine these up to get the extra six levels and create my brand new helm with just aqua affinity. These are rubbish. Considering the level 30, I did expect better. Anyway, we've got a chap down here that wants to job. 
Okay, well, that's not a very good start. But don't you worry, good sir. We're going to stay here until you give me Thorn 3. And nobody else is going to come down. I think it's efficiency 4 is kind of tempting, but if it was efficiency 5, I'd go for it. But otherwise, yeah, it's not that important. Thorns 1, you're on the right track, good sir. Infinity. I can't say no to infinity because I need it on my bow. Without a doubt, it's, it's got to be allowed, all right? No, you're, you're staying in there, all right? That, this is your life now. Hopefully, there's another villager looking for a job because we're, <laughs> we're currently... Uh, we're needing Thorn still. Here we go. Another candidate. Just what we like to see. And you're offering it for seven. He charged me eight. You're a much better villager. Come on, let's, let's just uh, keep going until we get Thorn straight. I'm not getting distracted with any other one. Finally, we've got it. And 28 emeralds. Okay, it's a little steep, but I only need four of them all together. I'm not sure if I can afford it. I can only get three. Either way, your services have been useful. No, you're not going to bed. You're staying down there. I guess my best chance of getting a few more emeralds is by chopping down a few more trees. I do still have spare wood in a chest over there as well, so I'll have more than enough once I've got rid of these. Hey, guys, have I got good news for you? Loads of sticks for you. That's it. Loads of sticks. You just give me emeralds. I'll sort you out and... Why have you changed the trait? Are you not the original villager? What happened to the original? I guess we'll never know. Either way, I'm just going to give you the rest of these. Then get one final... Look at that. You gave me a discount as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is a discount. Just check it. One final Thorns book. Meaning that I can almost max out my armor. But I also need Soul Speed 3 from the Piglins. I've got plenty of gold here. So it shouldn't be a problem in getting it. Although I haven't yet successfully found a Bastion. So hopefully that doesn't take me too long. The good thing is, I suppose, I don't have to travel through the nether i could just fly which just makes life so much easier although despite that i just keep finding fortresses one has finally been found with gold blocks for me to harvest but what about the chests anything good in the ah oh, look at that netherite scrap whoa i'm getting hit in the back don't know who you think you are but you're in lava now so it's not good for you i could actually do i don't need the arrows but i could actually do with crafting a gold helmet so that they don't hurt me and taking one of these water buckets and changing it to be lava instead. That should make life easier when dealing with the brutes. More ancient debris and golden carrots, nice. But the real prize is all the gold down here that can be given to these guys. Now then, they've thrown me a book. Is it the book that I want? Oh, it is. I didn't even have to do that much trade with you guys. That's fantastic. Don't come and ruin this for me now, piglin brute. Don't you dare. Instead, you're just gonna get a face full of lava. Yeah, that's right. And I'm gonna put my lightning back on, put on this helmet. You guys could keep that. I don't, I don't want that rubbish. And I make the thousand block flight back home. I'm glad that this nether adventure is over. The darkness has come. But how am I supposed to sleep with a slime bouncing on my head? That's right. Get out of here. Now I can get to bed. Or maybe not. Somebody else is waking up. This is a, a village terror terrorizing. Uh, what's going on here? Be lava bucketed. That's right. Gollum, are you stuck or something? Get out of here. Get out there and deal with them. Come on. I don't know what he thinks. Are you stuck as well? What do we pay you guys for to get stuck in houses? Don't tell me you're, you're fine. Okay, I know you are. And I'm going to sleep. Oh my goodness. I've just gone to this furnace and realized I have eight netherite scrap. That I completely forgot that I went and collected that. Time to get busy anviling. So if I combine these, I can then combine my helmets for 34 levels, but then it will be maxed out. Just can't quite afford that at the moment. What about the boots? Are they also going to be the uh, the same issue? 12 levels just for that. Isn't it? Thorns is so expensive. I should put thorns on last. What am I doing? 29 levels. I am going to have to get busy getting some XP. I know I've done this in the most inefficient way possible, but anyway, I'll just get as much of it as I can. Just realise I had these the wrong way around. If I go like that, it's only 11 levels. So that's, that's a good start because now I only need 32 to max it out. So it looks like I should take this anvil and go on a mining spree collecting XP. P. That's 34 levels, which is enough for a maxed out helmet. And then a quick and easy five for a maxed out silk touch pickaxe. Quite a lot of gold at this ruin portal. Okay, don't ask what I'm doing there, guys. I just was letting a piglin go to town on, on hitting me. And then, yeah, I, I don't know what I was doing. Deal with the hoggling and then get back these gold blocks that you think you can steal, really? Yeah, well, you can't. Now to get back to collecting gold and in the chest... Uh, some decent stuff. I'm also so, so close to 32 levels. And now that I've got that, my boots can be maxed out too. And that's 13 levels, which maxes out my leggings. I, oh, there goes the anvil as well. I can't get swift sneak on there because ancient cities don't exist on a super flat. So they're as, as maxed out as they can be. And rather than get the needed XP to max out my chest plate, I'm instead going to head back because I only have prop three on that, which is a, is a problem. Next, I'm going to grindstone this spare one and see if I can get like a prop three thing on it. Doesn't look overly promising, so I'm just going to grab loads and loads of wool and also wood. And I can then begin the mission for more ancient debris. Plus mine up quartz for XP whenever I find it. And apparently the first one did get me some ancient debris. I didn't even see it from uh, from this angle, but up here, 
We've got the first one. An excellent start. And I can see myself getting to 30 levels in no time with this. That's ancient debris piece number two, as well as number three and number four. Look at that. There's two more up here. And I'm getting to quite high XP levels as well. It's it's all coming together, ladies and gentlemen. The seventh piece of this haul. Oh, the eighth as well. If I can get 18 total from this little trip, that will be perfect. Whether I can do that, though, <laughs> remains to be seen. Nonetheless, I found my ninth piece. In fact, make that 10. Now, a grand total of 12. Perfect. I have made it to 30 levels. And I'm up to 60. Ancient debris. That's another piece found while mining. 17. Please be another one. There unfortunately wasn't. But I do still have plenty of beds. So I'm sure I can find what I can find what I need. Fantastic. 18 pieces. Make it 19. One to spare, of course. There can't be much left of day 100. So I've, I've definitely got to get a move on. Gonna also grab a little bit of quartz. The extra level may come in handy later. You never know. As expected, it is very, very dark. You guys are gonna have to be busy tonight because I am not gonna be much help. I've got other things to work on. Tip number one, it's a risk. Do I do I risk it? Come on, give me prop. Yes, we got it. No. Oh, it didn't blow up the chest. Thank goodness for that. I thought it did. It's a stressful night, but I can't go to sleep because then the 100 days will be over. Instead, I'll do some combining here. Now, please, I'm not going to have enough levels, am I, for this? Oh, I need two more. Not a problem, though, because in the meantime, I can make some netherite ingots and start upgrading some stuff. And the furnace gave me XP. That's fantastic. Anvil, go to work. Put that together. Put it with thorns. There we go. We now have full maxed out netherite armor and it is day 100 so i can't max out the rest of these i am going to turn this into a netherite sword though because you know what we want full netherite tools for the 100 days so that includes the axe and the shovel. In 100 days of Minecraft Super Flat, I built farms for extinct mobs, defeated the Ender Dragon, got way, way too many sheep, defeated the Wither, ask you guys to subscribe, I'm so, so close to 4 mil, built an iron farm, and then built five more of them, got full netherite tools, and maxed out armor. Thanks so much for watching, let me know if you want 200 days.